Welcome to Module 4 of the What Works Clearinghouse Group Design Standards Training. This module focuses on WWC standards related to confounding factors. On the slides, some words are underlined and in bold. Definitions for these terms are in the glossary, which is available on the WWC website, whatworks.ed.gov. To receive a certificate of completion for viewing these training modules, you must view the videos on the WWC's website. If you haven't already done so, please view the introduction video before viewing this module. The introduction reviews important background information about this training and describes accompanying resources. You can access all of the resources mentioned in this module through the WWC's website, whatworks.ed.gov. In this module, we will first discuss how the WWC defines a confounding factor. In brief, confounding factors are study components that make it difficult or impossible to distinguish the effect of the intervention from the effect of that component. We will provide examples of confounding factors as well as examples of things that are not confounding factors. We will then discuss how confounding and non-confounding factors affect a study's rating. Finally, we will discuss how the WWC considers studies that test combined interventions. 